Good morning, everybody. We are here 75 degrees outside today. Sunny, absolutely beautiful day so far. Who do we have first in the chat? We got Dark Bro first in the chat. What's going on, Dark Bro? Frank, Dark Bro, Frank, Chris, Chris, Nick F, Dark Bro, Michael, Stig, Moji, C to it, AMC Trapper, Dark Bro, Dark Bro, Moji, Rocket is in the chat, baby. What's going on, Rocket? AMC Trapper, Moji, Rocket, Rocket. We got Dark Bro, Pika, and AMC Trapper. See what the market's doing this morning, guys. We've got AMC in the top left corner. AMC is sitting at $9.36 right now. Down pretty heavy on the day, 5.26% lower. Shiba Inu coin sitting at 11.57 right now, down 1.15%. GameStop sitting at 28.08, down 1.85%. QQQ down pretty heavy, down 1.40% at the moment. 287.03 there. We've got ourselves a range forming between this level and and this level major support down here 286 11 interesting <clears throat> i might actually if it gets rejected off this i might buy some puts here so we're gonna see what happens over the next couple of minutes <clears throat> we'll watch that i've been watching it this morning tapped it pre-market tapped it during the day right here if we tab it again and start to form a red i may jump in not exactly sure but we will watch this range to see how it plays out wouldn't be bad if you guys would have bought a call off this bounce right here even taking it to here, I guarantee that would have been probably, t probably like a 25 to 30% increase. Let's actually see what that would have been right there. If you go in QQQ and you got options chain, can we get a, what is this? No, calls. We want to see what the calls did over the last minute. Let's see if we can get the charge for the calls up there. I never know. Why it doesn't bring the options chart up. <clears throat> no, I have no idea what these calls did over the last couple of minutes. I can gar I, I, I can almost guarantee that that was a 25 to 30% move <clears throat> just in a, a few minutes there on the QQQ. I don't know why this stuff isn't working. <clears throat> Desktop version is a little weird. But nonetheless, might run into some slight resistance right here if it doesn't break. But if it breaks it, I think we're going right here again. So we will watch that. But ladies and gentlemen, Terrellin Classic looking very nice right now. Breaking out of this little channel, sitting at 29,500 points per coin. Looking good. We've got Michael. Michael, man, thank you very much for the fist. Boom. Fist. Boom. Fist. Boom. Fist. Michael, thank you very much for the fist bump. Michael, the most consistent man in the game, ladies and gentlemen. Fist bumps every live stream. Absolutely loving it. Nailing my 293 Qs for the day so far. <laughs> when did you get them, man? <clears throat> when did you get them? Uh, I'm, I'm going to say puts, right? You got some puts going on on the 293 puts. <whistles> got to be looking good if you get them anytime, either here, today, or really anytime yesterday. You got to be killing those puts right now. Uh, Bronson, loving it, man. Happy birthday. Is today Bronson's birthday? Puts two days ago. Nice. Nice. Bronson. Bronson, is today your birthday? I want to sing if it is, man. I want to sing if it's your birthday today. What's up, Clay, bro? Thanks for what you do. Four days left of the burn is implemented in Lunk right. Yeah. So, JC Lose, man. <clears throat> what I saw is it's technically four days, but... Give it five. So last night, the the block height that it's going to start at was, I think, 2 a.m. Eastern time on the 21st. So if you live in California, it should be happening around 11 p.m. on the 20th. It's going to happen for me while I'm sleeping. Can guarantee you that I'm not awake. Not even going to consider being awake for it. Like, no, no worries whatsoever. Um, so the 21st at 2 a.m. for me, if you're in Europe, it's 21st, kind of when you wake up in the morning, if you're in California, you, I mean, it actually might be implemented before you go to sleep, depending on when you go to sleep, <laughs> if you're in California, but that's what we were seeing there. That number can change slightly. So if the block height, if the blocks get solved quicker than normal, it could bring that forward and make it earlier. If the blocks get solved slower than normal, you're looking at a slight delay that would push it to the 21st at like 3 a.m., 4 a.m. for me, and depending on what time you are. So that's what I saw last night is that the block height was ex expected to take place 
September 21st at 2 a.m. Eastern time. I mean, it don't, it don't matter to me. So the 21st is going to be the first full day regardless. Even if it does hit on the 20th, it's, it's going to be like half a day or whatever. <coughs> so the 21st. This is this is how you remind me of what I really am. Yeah. Devil's Advocate. I love it, man. Bringing that nigga back in here. Oh, yeah. Hoping today's my half-life birthday. Hoping today is my half-life birthday. I don't even know what to... Yep, the big 36. Half-life. Did you only live in 72? The crap? You gotta live longer than that, Bronson. My God, dude. Moji! Thank you very much for the super chat. This is for Clay to sing happy birthday to Bronson. 73 of you better be blowing the chat up right now. Is I... <coughs> Bronson, close your eyes. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Bronson. Happy birthday to you. Bronson, man. What a bro, baby. Happy birthday to Bronson. Guys, Bronson is a bro, man. Get those bros or get those birthdays out there for Bronson. Happy birthday, man. I do hope you have an amazing day today. 36 is just the, that's like the first quarter of your life, man. Forget about the first half life. 36 is the first quarter. You, at least the first third. Come on, man. 36. Yeah, you're going over 100. Let's do it, man. Bronson, thank you for hanging out with us on your birthday. And I do hope you have a great day today, man. <coughs> happy birthday, Bronson. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Bronson. Oh, yes. What the heck that means? Your voice gave me up. Woo! Crypto hottie. Interesting. Well, I think that's a good thing. Case Akram, Pat. It's my birthday, too, today, Pat. I don't know if you're lying or not, but happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Pat. Happy birthday to you. Pat, man, if it's your birthday as well, happy birthday. Bronson, happy birthday to you, man. Thanks, guys. Click. You made my... <laughs> Met my wife bust out laughing. Perfect, Bronson. Perfect. Dude, she better be taking you out for ice cream. She that's all I gotta say. It's Friday night. I don't know if you guys like sushi, if you're staying in, what you're doing for your birthday today. But dude, if she doesn't get you some ice cream or some frozen yogurt, I don't know what she is thinking. Bronson's wife, you better hook this man up. This is a good dude. Good dude right there. You better hook this guy up. Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> Dark bro. Dark bro. You sent a birthday cake. I got to do it again. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Bronson from Dark Bro. Happy birthday to you. And we got a Pika Pika to celebrate everybody with me now. La Pika Pika. La Pika Pika. La Pika 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 Pika. La Pika 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 Pika. La Pika Pika. La Pika Pika. La Pika 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 Pika. La Pika 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 Pika. La Pika Pika. La pika pika, la pika 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 pika, la pika 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 pika. Last time, do it with me. La pika pika, la pika pika, la pika 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 pika, la pika 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 pika. Pika. Thank you for the birthday dance for Bronson there. Oh yes, we are having a good day today, guys. My goodness. Happy birthday, Pat, as well. Yes, Pat, enjoy it, man. All of you guys. <laughs> Pat, hang out here every day, man, and I'll be able to sing it nice and slow to you as well. Hey, Clay, I'm back again. Did I read that right? Binance are now supporting Lunkburn. <coughs> ben, I don't know if you actually read that right. So the last I have seen is that Binance, it, it's confusing, man. Binance is saying that they're supporting what the community wants. And what they think the community wants is on-chain burns. The community actually wants all burns, 1.2% on all transactions, but the community can only affect on-chain transactions. So Binance is trying to play us like fools and saying that, well, we'll burn on deposits and withdrawals because that's where it hits an on-chain transaction. Dude, on-chain, that has, deposits and withdrawals have nothing to do with Binance. Nothing at all to do with Binance. That's going to hit the blockchain regardless. If you deposit it, you're depositing it from your Terra Station wallet onto Binance. Of course, that's an on-chain transaction. If you're withdrawing it, you're hitting the blockchain again. Of course, that's going to be taxed by the Terra Rebels building this 1.2% burn tax. It has nothing to do with Binance. Plan is for fools, man. They need to burn on-chain transactions, and I have not seen that they will be doing that yet. Happy birthday, bros. Heck 
Fuck yeah, man. LeBron to Bronson. LeBron to Bronson. LeBron da 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 LeBron da 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 Yes, Bronson's a little bit harder than Pika. GDB, good morning, GDB. Uphold tweeted that crypto should get staked. Lunk for the win, baby. I love it. Lunk's got to win. Uh, what's happening with Ethereum merge? Why hasn't it exploded in price? <coughs> Twizzle, YT, Twizzle U2, whatever, whatever the YT stands for there. Um, why hasn't it exploded in price? Uh, I guess because it was more of a buy the rumor, sell the news type of a deal. But we're not seeing a drastic improvement in really anything except a move, for a drastic improvement in the energy consumption is what we're seeing there. That's That's where the improvement comes from. Uh, is the energy consumption used to verify blockchain transactions? And the QQQ coming back down a little bit. If it does get to this area, guys, and it starts to bounce off, I am going to go blank for a minute. Uh, I do think I'll buy a couple puts if it hits this channel right here. This one, I mean, tapping this line, it, it's not a bad line to get in if you want to be a little bit more conservative, but uh, I don't know. The, the pre-market area... And what we're seeing here, would I buy on a breakout? No, I don't want to buy on a breakout. But I will buy on a break break back down if we hit this area. So I'm going to be watching this and maybe go some 296s, possibly even 295 puts. We'll be a little bit more aggressive on that. But I'm going to be watching that right there. Uh, nonetheless, we could keep Terra Luna Classic on the chart for the moment. But we'll keep an eye on the QQQ there. Yo, yo, Mo, Mo. What's going on, J-Bones? Uh, J-Bones, I'm going to try and get your hoodie done this weekend, man. And then hopefully get it shipped out. If I can't get it shipped out tomorrow morning, <coughs> if, like if I don't do the hoodie tonight, uh, I'll try and get it shipped out first thing next week, dude. And then we can do these hoodie giveaways to whoever you want. When's Shaberry? I'm getting old. Pika is such a young girl. She's not getting old. Never. Uh, yeah, well, we're going to have testing on Shibarium Pika, and then maybe in the next five years, we can have some, some Shibarium news. There's a community statement on the off-chain vote on Terra Station. Go and vote. Make money. Good good call on that one. Make sure. The guy, I just haven't seen that vote just yet, but make sure it's a real one if you guys are voting on that one. Click. Did you have any cute... No, not yet. So I was thinking about opening some this morning. I'm kind of glad that I didn't. Uh, I was, I was going to try and scalp some this morning. And I was watching it here on this candle. I'm glad I didn't get any, man, because I probably would have gotten in right here. And depending on, I, if I would have got my 10% stop on there, which I probably could have, getting in here and riding it down to here, this probably would have been a 20 or 30% gain. So I probably could have gotten a 10% stop on there. Would have immediately stopped out. So I would have already been done for the day. But... With, with this forming here, here's the thing that I, I like about playing it a little risky if you're getting in a little later in the day. If it comes back in this area right here, and it trends sideways for a minute at this 288, puts would be very cheap at this point. And even a little run from here at 288.50 down to 286, if it ran... Like it at one o'clock in the afternoon from two eighty eight fifty to two eighty six, you're probably seeing a, a two to three hundred percent gain in this area right here in QQQ puts if you're buying with three hours until the expiration date happens. So yes, it is extremely risky, but dude, high risk, high reward, right? What are you gonna do about that? Nah, I don't have any open at the moment though. <coughs> Let's see. G'day, Clay, bro. G'day, everyone. Happy to be here. I've uh, been here on audio. Happy birthday, Bronson. Francis, very nice. Bronson's birthday today. Yes, Clay, remember time in the market. Beats timing the market. Aces. Yes, it absolutely does in the long run, especially if you are going to uh, a long-term investor. Time in the market always beats time in the market. Yes, I, I do agree with that fully, but... I mean, if you want to have fun on a singular day and you're trying to trade, I mean, this is the range we got today. This is the range. We, we've tapped the bottom twice, and we've hit this level pre-market. Could slightly rise there, but nonetheless, I'm going to leave my line right here and, and see what goes on there. Time the market, dude, might, might happen. We might be able to do something with that right there today. So we will watch that. <clears throat> <clears throat> 
Uh, let's see. Oh, look at Shib now, right now. Shib, top right. We're looking at it right now, guys. Shib Inu coin sitting at 1160 at the moment. Very, very, very low volume candles sitting here with basically no moves whatsoever. Shiba Inu coin kind of sitting stagnant in the top right of the screen. Electricity prices are shooting up in price. Is it wise to buy some H bar? Twizzle, I really don't know enough about H bar to say why electricity consumption would would affect the price of H bar. If it's a if it's a mineable coin or what the deal is with that, I do not know. Uh, so I, I honestly, I can't even make a judgment call on why it would be wise or not wise to buy H bar if electricity prices are shooting up, man. So very sorry about that. Uh, morning, Francis. Glad to see you back. Are you in the discord? I hope so. Yeah. Francis is in the discord, right? I think Francis is in the discord. Uh, Francesco Del Falco. Hey, bro. Why have you left Shiba for terrible class? Have you haven't uploaded any videos about Shiba? No. Yeah, Francesco, man. I have not left Shiba. We've been talking about Shiba every day in the live stream. Always up in here in the live stream in the top right. Uh, it, it's just the combination of two things. So I haven't done any videos on Shiba Inu coin lately, but I have done videos on Terrible Luna Classic. Um, same... Like, click-through rate and everything, it's obvious that people right now are fascinated with Terra Luna Classic. Um, if I got the same click-through rate on a video with Shiba Inu coin, I may have 4,000 people watch it. Same video with Terra Luna Classic, it's going to hit anywhere from like 11 to 16,000 views. So, it's trying to give people what they want to see. And the vast majority of people right now are interested in seeing Terra Luna Classic. So it's it's a little bit more efficient to do videos on what people are searching for and what people are looking for at the moment. Um, also, we haven't seen anything coming from the developers. I have been looking. I've been scrolling and all of that stuff. Uh, the, the AAA graphics game, <coughs> we haven't had any major update on that. Shabarium, we haven't had any major update on that. So, uh, barring like some major update, I really don't think it's that bad of an idea to to move over and focus while the spotlight's on Terra Luna Classic. Because, dude, let's be honest with each other, okay? If the burns come around and Terra Luna Classic just starts to fade a little bit and, and people realize, okay, well, this is going to be harder than I thought it was going to be. I don't want to wait a year to make a million dollars. I want to make a million dollars tomorrow. Some people will leave, and if that excitement fades... <laughs> If that excitement fades a little bit, only the people who actually believe in the rebirth of this blockchain are are going to be sticking around. So, I, that's my justification, man. It, it made sense to me. Hopefully, it makes sense to you guys as well. Bro, new day in paradise. Thanks for all the info. Third Eye Joe, man. Glad to have you in here. And absolutely, man. Time is so fast. Time is always fast. The Iron Yon. Awesome. Francis, heck yeah. Luke is getting back on the game. Yes, it is, Virgil. Yes, it is. Is Luke about to pump Costas? I absolutely hope so. But it's got to break through this 3,000 point or 30,000 point level so if you could see here this was like the lower end of the channel if we move this line up slightly from 28 we can see right here that we are still stuck in this channel between roughly 30,000 we'll zoom in a little bit you can see that we're still stuck between this channel right here and boom bounced here couldn't break couldn't break couldn't break fell down couldn't break couldn't break fell down could it break if it breaks I absolutely think that we could be rolling back up either to this area right here at 33 or most likely this area at 35 right here. <coughs> so, uh, can it break out? I think another 20% move higher. If we do break this resistance line, the 20% move up to 35,000 points per coin is going to be nice, man. So, we will watch it. Will it break? I don't know. What do you guys think? What do you guys say? Is it going to break? Let me know if you guys think it's going to break. We're going to sit here stagnant. we actually breaking out. We got a super chat from Razi, man. Thank you for the super chat. Lunk to five cents by New Year's. Lunk for life. Dude, if Terra Luna Classic hit five cents by New Year's. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Emil. <laughs> He's like, thought I was a member. WTF. Emil, you are a member now, man. I want to see 148. Welcome, Emil's in the chat right now. Thank you very much. Uh, gosh, what a name there. Sandvist? Sandvist. Sand? Sandvist. The Q's got to be silent. Sandvist. 
<laughs> Sandvis, thank you. Welcome, Elle, to the chat right now. Bros, show them about that welcome. This is not, this is obligatory. If you guys are in the chat right now, welcome, Emil, to grabbing that green name. You guys know how we do. Do it. JB, fast on that one. Heck yeah. JB, Frank, Dark Bro, Pika, <coughs> Francesco, everybody welcoming Emil right now. Makes sense. Thanks for answering, bro. Absolutely, Francesco. Try to answer everybody, dude. Yes, Emil, if you join the Discord, man, if you join the Discord, <coughs> you also get a green name in the Discord as well. Invite people, boom, copy that link. Let's get that link down in the Discord. Ah, oh, man, you guys skated by in here with no ads. Why do you guys not tell me that there was no ad on your way in? Oh, you, you people, man, I don't know about you people. You gotta tell me there's no ad on the way in when you don't get an ad. You didn't get lucky. <coughs> Uh, but ads are on now, so if you leave and come back, you're gonna get one. You're gonna get one. How's Link doing today, Clay, bro? Uh, wage, man. Well, Mook is actually doing pretty good today. It's up 13% right now, bouncing back off this 30,000 point per coin mark. And we just got done looking at the, the longer term level here on the one hour chart, seeing that 30,000 could be a decent level of resistance. Used it as support here, bounced all the way back up to 39,000. Uh, once it fell through, resistance, 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 fell, resistance, resistance, and now again, resistance, or will we break it? That is the question everybody's asking right now, is will we break this level? The good news is, this descending trend line, these lower highs that we've been hitting, it is a possibility that we broke that, that wedge this morning. If we broke out of that wedge, I would love to see some confirmation to the upside here, but if not, you know, this could just be a little bit of a period here where we drop back down into the wedge, which would kind of suck to see happen because then I do believe we would most likely be trending towards this 22,000 point per coin mark. But this is going to be very important. If we break this, I think we could absolutely go to 33 to 35,000 points per coin, which is going to be a nice 20 plus percent run for Terra Luna Classic there. <clears throat> Miami. Ricky, you in Miami, man? Must be nice. Lyman Dave in the Discord? I hope so. Guys, free Discord. It is free. Um if you have a green name, you can you can jump in the supporters chat if you want to if you want to chat with other green names and, and and do stuff. Nobody else can see that. Only the green names have access to that. Uh also if you have a green name, obviously I trust you enough. You can post pictures. Don't abuse it. Like don't be posting pictures of some stupid things in there. But you can post pictures, gifs, all that good stuff. <coughs> kind of have a little bit more fun in the discord but yeah as of right now man everything absolutely free in the discord except that supporters chat <coughs> so if you guys want to get a green name get a green name but thank you very much for everybody who does support i would not mind ads if they were about to join the clay bro channel but since they're not i don't like them wouldn't that be hilarious dude wouldn't that be hilarious <laughs> if i bought ads on my own channel and just made an ad on my own channel oh man uh, no, I'm actually using, so I've been posting pretty consistent on TikTok over the last, dude, only basically week here, and it's been, it's been doing very well, um, dude, I've been using that as, like, free ads, man, you, TikTok throws your stuff on that for you page, and you get decent views, I can make a little video about Terra Luna Classic, throw it out, and all of a sudden I got 5,000 views on it, and instead of paying $200 for 5,000 views, I just made the video and posted it. Got a little tiny Claybro YouTube logo on there. Obviously, link in the bio for the YouTube channel and stuff. But <clears throat> TikTok is sweet, man. TikTok is sweet. I I'm thinking I want to do some sort of a TikTok contest too. Like if I ever see any of you guys, like if I ever see anybody reposting my content or, or throwing some stuff out there, you guys win a free T-shirt. Or if I get a friend that hits me up and be like, "Hey, look at this! I, I saw you, and it wasn't you that posted it on on TikTok there." Uh, win a free t-shirt. I actually think that that would be something cool because dude, you could just, honestly, you could just clip my YouTube channel all you guys wanted and then if you guys are good at SEO, throw it out there, man. Win some free t-shirts or sticker packs and stuff like that. <coughs> I think that would be pretty sweet. BRB, I need an ad. <laughs> J JB's the man. Dude, look at JB supporting. Dude, JB might have gone out there and I'll tell you right now, if JB watched both of those ads, on his way back in. Dang it, man. I might even have a fraction of a penny. JB is contributing, baby. Guillermo! Guillermo says, we get that birthday pie, baby. Oh. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. 
birthday, dear Bronson. Happy and Pat. Happy birthday to you. Uh, Guillermo, thank you very much for the pie. Any sort of pie, ice cream, cake. I'm singing happy birthday to Bronson today because it's his birthday. And Paul, or, uh, Pat. I don't know if Pat's still in here or not, but definitely Bronson. Bronson's got a green name, so we got to sing happy birthday to him. Uh, let's see. I'm here. Bought some Luca on 3X. Doing well so far. Matthew, you're making me scared, man. 3x leverage. I love it. JB, I didn't get an ad on the way back in. Oh, YouTube hates me, man. Hates me. Yeah, Frank, I do still want to do that. <coughs> I do still want to do that. So, uh, I think the vast majority of people. Let me actually do a thing here, real quick. Um, because I think the vast majority, and I'll write it down this time in a notepad. Uh, but let me do a poll really quick and just tell because it's gonna be anonymous just tell me what size shirt you wear I've got some smalls left I'm probably not gonna buy any smalls there uh, but I do want to buy and they don't have any more of those tri blend shirts so they're probably gonna end up being you know just a, like a shirt like this or something 50 50 or whatever whatever the blend is but I do want to know the ratio of like sizes out there. I think the vast majority are going to be larges and extra larges, though. All right. All right. Yo, bro, awesome channel. Matthew, man, thank you very much for the comment there. Really appreciate that. I, you guys are building an awesome channel here. Not me, man. Not me. You guys are the ones building the positivity up and all of that stuff. So thank you very much, dude. Nobody wants a shirt. Uh, no, some people do want shirts. <coughs> and the people that want shirts get shirts. So what are you going to do about that? If you don't want a shirt, you don't have to get a shirt. Moji, thank you very much for the banana. Moji says, how do you eat a banana again? I forgot. Well, you take the banana and you peel it. It's very important that you peel it. You tilt the head back a little bit. You watch. Eye contact. Most important part. You lick it. You stick it. <coughs> Moji, thank you very much for the banana. Nick Beard rules. J-Bones rules, baby. J-Bones rules. J-Bones, thank you for the 16-month member chat oh my gosh oh my gosh thank you very much j bones for being a member for 16 months that's a bronson banana right there Ooh, bronson that one was for you <coughs> size smallish if i keep eating this chocolate i will be a large francis i do have some smalls uh small ish mediums as well but yeah, I think the vast majority. And please, guys, please do vote. Thirty-nine votes. It's not like you have to buy a T-shirt or anything, but please do vote so I can see the average size that I should get in order a similar ratio. Because if I'm buying a hundred shirts or something, you know, I don't want to buy ninety mediums and two large, two extra large, two XL, and then all of a sudden, I got four people that wear a medium. So, please do help me out here <clears throat> on what size you guys wear so that I know what size I can order here. <clears throat> and then, where is... Notepad. That's what I wanted. Yeah, guys, do vote. Don't please don't not vote. This live stream got real silly real quick. Jim B always does, man. Eating crypto bananas, facts. The other nomads, you got to about sixteen months. You should be right there with Clay at this point. He is, man. He is. Hi, bro. So I've been trying to get a more accurate prediction for the next week's cash secure puts roll. Uh, looking at roll today to next Friday, I'm seeing between thirty eight to forty cents contract at the top. That's seven hundred and five. <laughs> Oh, God. Frank, dude. Uh, like, look, you guys should see how I'm holding this microphone right now because Frank's talking some s just sweet, s just sweet words in my ears. Look, like, look at this. When you hold the mic like this, you know something good's happening. Frank, my man, I am holding the mic like that right now. 705 <laughs> a week selling those cash-secured puts, man. I love it, Frank. 
Oh my gosh. <coughs> Emil, he's like your son. He very well could be my 16 month old son. Uh, clearly, bro, I hope AMC stock goes up so I can buy you a year's supply of hot. <laughs> Wagmar, I would like that, man. I would like that. Your supply of hot pockets, uh, pizza hot pockets, please. I guess ham and cheese could could do pretty well uh, too, but I like the pizza probably better than the ham and cheese. But yeah, pizza and ham and cheese, go that. But more pizza, like if you got to go like eighty twenty ratio or something, I think that'll be good. Ah, uh, they shrink if cotton peeps. Yeah, they technically would. Too large for me and my dad. Shanalika, 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 Shanalika. I forget how to say it. Very sorry again. I love it. Shanalika, too large for you and your dad. Perfect. 72 votes. Loving you guys actually participating in this vote right now. Thank you very much. Luna Classic is what? Baki and all other cryptos are Muhammad Ali. Oh my god. That's bad for crypto. That's bad for Luna Classic, then, right? I threw a poll of the Discord, too. Perfect. Yes. People in the Discord actually voting. Small. Small is winning in the Discord right now. How is small winning in the Discord? <coughs> Guys, go vote in the Discord. My gosh. <coughs> small is winning with three votes. Wow. Thank you, JB, for throwing a poll up in the Discord because I don't even. Uh, all right, 75 votes. We're going to take this off the, the channel right now so I can actually see if you guys want to vote really quick on, on YouTube here. We've got 77 votes. Please get your vote in. I will be removing that, but I want to know what size shirt you wear so that when I do go to order some more shirts here, I can, I can get the appropriate size configuration. My gosh, look at this. Okay. Well, now, if this doesn't fall through... See, I don't really want to go. I don't really want to go calls today. I don't really want to go calls on the QQQ today. But if you get a bounce right here, it could be a decent entry. If it breaks through, don't buy. Don't buy a call if it breaks through. But if you get a bounce right here, it could be a decent call entry off this almost triple bottom that we're about to see. But man, it looks like it didn't come. It looks like it may not have come back up to this line right here. Looks like I may not be entering any puts. Um, it's only 12:20. We still got plenty of time left. But yeah, that's what we're looking at right now. This is gonna be pretty important if it breaks through. I would absolutely expect another leg down. My gosh, dude, might even go down. Might even lose all six six bucks there, down to 280. That would be wild if that happened. And it does look. Like Bronson's puts could give him a very happy birthday today. We're gonna see how that plays out. 285.94. My gosh, down 1.72% on the day. Wild. 90 votes. Thank you guys very much. We're taking this off the chart right now so I can actually see the chat happening. Uh end poll. <coughs> and let's see what we got. Alright. Honestly, pretty even split. Okay. All right. Cool. Thank you guys for 90 of you of voting. That's actually what I thought it would probably be. Eh, actually, I thought medium would have gotten less than that. I would have thought medium would have a few less than what it did. So, good deal. I like mediums. Because if you guys don't want them, guess who gets to wear them? Me. Diem. Before dinner, medium. After dinner, large. Nice. DD214. Dude can eat, man. He can put it away. Welcome, Bosco. Where's Bosco? I didn't even see Bosco in here today. Clay Bosco became a bro. I did not see it, man. I missed a lot, dude. These, I missed a fist bump, too. What is going on? What else did I miss right here? My gosh. I don't even think the chat was working. Bosco. 
Thank you for grabbing that green name and becoming a bro. Bosco, man. I want to see 155 welcomes to Bosco in the chat right now. Grabbing that green name, becoming a bro. Bosco, if you're not in the Discord, dude, tap the top of the, the, the chat there and jump in that Discord link. Absolutely free. You will get a green name in the Discord as well, man. Really appreciate that, guys. Welcome, Bosco. And as I do that, I want to say, Matthew, thank you very much for the fist. Boom. Fist. Boom. Fist bump. Fist bump. Thank you very much, Matthew, for the fist bump, dude. Really appreciate all of the super stickers, especially... I like the fist bumps, man. The fist bumps are fun. The fist bumps are easy to do. The fist bumps are not weird, and my mom can watch the fist bumps. So thank you, Matthew, for the fist bump. Really appreciate that. Clay the man. Sheeran, you're the man. 155, welcome. There you go, Rozzy. 155 welcomes from Rozzy alone. Bronson, how you doing, my dude? Bronson's doing good today because it's his birthday. Welcome, Bosco. CZ works for CCP. Man, we got to get CZ on our side. Welcome, Bosco. Round two. Heck yeah, Bosco. Welcome to the supporters chat. Yes, yes, yes. Bosco, welcome. You guys are awesome, man. Thank you. Tony, jumping in the Discord. <coughs> Tony, thank Thank you very much, man. Guys, don't forget to vote if you are in the Discord, okay? What size shirt you like. I do want to know that. And Bronson watching these these puts here, man, going down. You look like you're about to have a good birthday today. <coughs> I would not be buying any calls if you guys are thinking about playing it on a reversal here until you do get a break back above this line. You might just be double tapping this area that we saw down in here. So be very careful if you're thinking about jumping back in. But nonetheless, man, it does look like it's trying to trend down. Man, man we were looking at that. We could have said, yeah, it could have got in there. But these puts have to be doing very well right now. These puts are probably looking good. Bronson, oh, man, Bronson is just, yeah, good birthday present to Bronson for sure. Uh, I think I'm so glad to hear it. Been sent a positive view, right? Heck yeah, man, that's what I like to hear. Uh, every little step I take, you will be there. Every little step I make. We'll be together. John J. It's deep, man. Did you just come up with that on your own? <laughs> Not bad, Emma. Clay's been singing to me all day. Heck yeah. QQQ will fall. Three Pharaohs Towers. It does look like it's going to fall. Look, it's already coming down through this line right here. Man, now I don't know if I'm going to be able to, to jump in. It doesn't look like I'm going to be able to jump in on any puts today. But actually, if it does fall through this line right here... <clears throat> It could, it could be a decent move to the downside. Obvious, you know, kick yourself for not getting in here on on this little resistance rejection. But nonetheless, man, a breakthrough to the downside could lead to a pretty steep decline. So watch that, guys. Uh, I don't know if you're in the QQQ, if you're playing calls or puts or anything or not. But nonetheless, this could lead to a, a much larger decline knowing that we've really got no major support and now until we come back down if it sustains this break we don't have much major support until we come down all the way down to 280 do i think it's going to hit 280 today no i don't think it's going to lose another two percent on the day <clears throat> but nonetheless that's that's what you're looking at <clears throat> and it does seem to be bouncing off this little level of support where we double where we tapped that major bottom or the intraday bottom today so <clears throat> have to watch it and shoot if it comes up i don't know man if it comes all the way back up to here <laughs> yeah i'll probably be getting in i'll probably be getting in playing some ridiculously dangerous qqq puts today uh happiest birthday bronson sorry i missed your song emma I will definitely probably sing it again before the end of the stream. Bronson needs a peach for his birthday. <coughs> Somebody give Bronson a peach for his birthday, man. Pull up a link chart, bro. <coughs> Absolutely, man. I was just trying to watch the QQQ to see, see if it fell through that major level of support there. <coughs> but nonetheless, we've got Terrell Classic sitting down here in the bottom left right now at 28,800 points per coin. Still up 11,000, 11,000, 11 point 65 percent on the day. So looking very healthy for Q, for for Terrell Classic there. It's Bronson's birthday in case you forgot. Yes, don't ever forget. Moji says Bronson, baby. This is the peach for your birthday. Bronson, ooh, double action. Double action, man. Bronson, you can touch. Everybody else, you can just look. I guarantee people left after that one. <laughs> 
Mika Power Moji. Thank you very much for both of those Peach Super Stickers in the extended period of time. Bronson, if you didn't touch it, man, I don't know what you were doing. Um, <laughs> Mika Power Moji. Yeah, I can guarantee people left out after that one. Oh my gosh. Thank you guys very much for the birthday peach for Bronson. DD214 says we need some more of that, man. I got you, DD214. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> DD214, thank you. Rozzy, oh my gosh, Rozzy, reinstate the question. Don't retract his super mess, his super chat. I did read it, but, but just briefly, should you be buying Lunk something $300 at the current price? Is that what it was? A million Lunk right now? <clears throat> Is that what you said in the super chat? Like, don't, oh man, Razi. No, bring it back. Bring it back. Crown City, baby. Oh, yes. Peaches and cream. You know oh, that I need it because I'm a fiend. Oh, yes. I'm a D. Everybody's a fiend in here. Heck yeah. Should have a 10 million loot for $300. Rozzy, I actually think you're only getting 1 million loot for roughly $300 right now. If you could buy 10 million loot for $300, the answer is yes. Definitely do it. Um, but I think I think you buy $300, I think it gets you 1 million loot, right? 300. Huh. No, divided by. Divided by point zero 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 twenty nine. Yeah, that's your one. That's your one million, man. So you're only gonna get one million for three hundred dollars. If you can actually buy one uh, ten million for three hundred dollars somewhere, yes, please do that. No questions asked. Um. But I listen. I don't think it's bad, right? I don't think it's bad. Here's the deal, though. Buying it right at the three thousand is slightly risky. Or thirty thousand is slightly risky because if we don't break that level, you're buying at the top of resistance, and if we can't break this thirty thousand, you're going to be buying here, and then we're just going to be coming down and retesting twenty six thousand. So you could you could essentially save yourself, uh, you know, sixty bucks or forty bucks there coming down and buying a million at this twenty six level if we can't take this resistance. If we do take it. You're going to be doing very nice because you're most likely going to see a, a, a rip higher and try to retest either 33, you're automatically up 10%, or uh, maybe 35, 36, and you're up 20% now. So it is slightly risky to just go in and buy it right this second um, simply because a breakout would be nice, yes, but if we don't get that breakout, I think you got a better entry down here at 26 <clears throat> if it's unable to break this line. So. Kind of my thoughts on it. I want to know what you guys think, though. Is 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 Rozzy okay to buy in this area? Or do you think you get a better entry if it does fall? JB! I don't understand why you guys like this. <gasps> super chat so much. It's by far one of the best super chats if you're falling asleep. <gasps> oh, my gosh. I can guarantee if you guys are tired right now, you're sitting at work, just go. <gasps> and it will wake you up. <clears throat> the rush of oxygen. The rush of oxygen to your brain will absolutely wake you up. JB, man, thank you for that. And Deez has the banana. Deez, I don't know if this is for you or if this is for Bronson, man, but you take that banana, you tilt the head back a little bit. You look eye contact. Very important. You take it, you lick it, and you stick it. <clears throat> Deez, thank you very much for the super sticker. Bronson says, bro, if we get to point zero zero eight Lunk by the end of the year, I'm throwing a party and all of the bros are welcome. Oh my gosh. Dude, eight tenths of a cent. Can we make it? Can we hit a cent by the end of the year? Can we basically hit a $50 billion market cap by the end of the year on Terrellin Classic? I want to know. Dark bro. Dark bro. Dark bro. Dark bro. Dark bro. Dark bro. This man's going to be partying. Perfect. JB, enjoy your afternoon, man. Thank you very much for hanging out in here. Thank you very much for the super sticker as well. And just enjoy it, dude. Just enjoy it. If you're back in the afternoon stream, perfect. If not, enjoy. Oh, no, you're you're not working today, right? Dude, enjoy your weekend. What are you doing here, man? He's on vacation. He's hanging out with us. Enjoy your weekend, JB. I agree, but somebody has to buy at that point to break the resistance. <coughs> Raven Beats. 
you are absolutely correct. Raven Beats is like, might as well be you, Rozzy. You got to go in now and hit that buy so we can break that resistance and move higher. Uh, yeah, perfect, Raven. That's actually a really good way to look at it. Could you have a resistance at 280 on the QQQs? I have a line there for... There for, yeah, so actually I do. <coughs> it, not resist, but support at 280. Uh, <coughs> actually, I mean, it might be at 279 on this chart right here. If you go to the... Still at 279, I guess. But my support line on the QQ, gosh, dude, you're just destroying it on those puts, dude. If you've had those puts for two days, you're destroying it, man. Looking beautiful. Um, Yeah, so mine's right here at 280, 279. And it's coming from this area right in here. So tapped it on a wick, tapped it, and did break down through there. God, that was a really rough week. Look at this week for the QQQ here. My gosh. Uh, and then tapped it, support, tapped it, support, tapped it, support again. So that's basically my next line, man. It's basically my next line. If we break through here, I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised by another 2% drop, bringing us back down to 280, 279 there. So, yes, I do have a line right in that area. <coughs> but with that in mind, dude, we are bouncing back off this level of support that we hit down here. So we might be retesting some upside now and if your puts expire today look here's the decision you make if we continue to rebound we might test the bottom of this level in here and get rejected that's your best case scenario if it comes back up here okay you're gonna be losing a decent amount with these qqqs uh coming back up to this mount with with very little time left in the day from here to here uh, this would be terrible for you if it came all the way back up here, but dude, I mean, if you want to let them roll, if you see a break, if it breaks down again, and we're just starting to hit some, some trend line, like if this is the trend line on the day right now, and you're playing these QQQs, If this is your trend line on the day, dude, and you're playing the QQQs, and you see just at the end of the... Ah, oh, this is the end of the day right here, so it might not break down if this trend holds up. But yeah, dude, if it comes and busts down here, you could see a nice drop. So that's your risk you're running if, if you're trying to play it to the downside still. Um, but nonetheless, man, I, I still think you're killing it on this week's trades with the QQQ there. And Ter or, yeah, Terrell the Classic bouncing back a little bit right now. Sending at 29,100 points per coin. Sing, man. Thank you for the super chip. Shiba to the moon. I'm still happy if the market is down from Fremont, California. <clears throat> when the market is down, we burn more, we buy more. You've got to look at the positives. You know, nobody would have, would have been rich in crypto if Bitcoin was launched at $70,000. Nobody would have ever bought it. Nobody would be rich with Ethereum and Ethereum whale if Ethereum launched at $5,000 per coin. But because you could buy them for a dollar a piece years ago and they turned into what they are today, just five, six, seven years down the road, yes, dude, down markets absolutely lead to millionaires being made. <clears throat> Dark Proto Morgan, so I'll be there for sure. Heck yeah, see you later. Gotta get back to work. Razi, enjoy your morning slash afternoon, wherever you're from, dude. Uh, and thank you very much for being in here. Hey, if you're hanging on the afternoon live stream, please do so. Vertex, thank you very much, Vertex, for the fist. Boom. Fist. Boom. Fist bump. Fist bump. Thank you very much for the fist bump, Veritex. Really appreciate all of you guys with the fist bump. We get a fist bump from everybody today, man. Thank you very much. I think Matthew, Michael, and Veritex throwing fist bumps today. <coughs> Moji Dark, I pinned it to the supporters chat. Thank you, Pika. I don't know what she pinned, but thank you. People in zero zero eight. At the end of the year, I'm sending Clay a five hundred super chat, and yes, we party after that. <laughs> Dark bro. <laughs> I hope we hit a penny. I, I hope we actually hit. I really don't know. A penny, like of that penny, that point zero zero eight. That's gonna be a solid freaking line. Um that's just the previous Did you guys hear that man? Either somebody was talking or Google was talking. It's kinda creepy when you hear a voice, man. I didn't say nothing about Google. <laughs> um if you guys just see me disappear, like if the if the screen just 
glitches out and then I'm gone. Please send help and send help immediately, man. I don't know what the heck is going on right now. Who's Google talking to? The crap. <clears throat> My gosh. Possibilities. If people were smart, we could make each. Sam. Some people are smart. Some people, they don't think things through. But I think what you're saying is, if people were smart, we could all be rich, right? We could all make this happen. And and that is true, okay? But not just if people were smart. If people could just agree, we would all be rich. I mean, think about it. And it would be some sort of a manipulation if you got everybody coordinated together to do it, right? I mean, I don't know. But <clears throat> if everybody just did buy... Terra Luna Classic or Shiba Inu Coin or AMC and so on, and they either all lost their phones, they they just promised not to sell, whatever. If you never had a sell, if you never had a sell, and nobody sold. If Terra Luna Classic, and it, listen, Terra Luna Classic jumps to a dollar, jumps to ten dollars because n there's no selling pressure whatsoever. You might be thinking, well, yeah, but how do I take advantage of my, my money there then? Dude, you don't have to sell it to have access to that. If it goes to $10 and you're sitting on a $30 million portfolio, okay, yes, you're rich. You might think, God, dude, I'm rich, but I can't access it. Basically, any bank in the world would, would loan you $5 million if you've got $30 million collateral. So... You can access that money in different ways. So, Sam, yes. Not everybody's got to be smart. Everybody's just got to be willing to play a ball. And then you've got people that are willing to sell, man. And they're the ones that, that make this tricky, that make it not guaranteed, that make it difficult. Simply, it is what it is, man. They take their dollar instead of their loans. <clears throat> but every single one of us would be crypto millionaires if we just bought and nobody ever sold. The ran, dude. You better be calming down, man. DD two fourteen. I got nothing going on in here. Just it was Google, man. Google was just responding to some something. I don't, I don't know what's happening. But five cents would be amazing. Rounder, yes, King Mamba. Happy Friday to you. Heck yeah. Just notice you got the same chair like Matthew Perry. Actually, I don't know. Is it the same one? Does he have? Does he have this S racer? Chair? I don't know if it's the same one that he's got or not. Everybody's got these gaming chairs, dude. Everybody's got them. I'll tell you this, okay? Depending on what you're going to do with it, you could probably go to Office Max and, and get a more comfortable chair. These chairs are about 100 bucks, but if you're going to Office Max, dude, and you're going to drop several hundred dollars on a chair, yeah, I think you can get a nicer one. One that these old guys are sitting in at their office and, and it's nice leather, it's tufted, it's nice and comfortable. But, yeah, this isn't bad at all, dude. Actually, it's got a leg rest that I never pull out. Um, I don't know which one it is. I, I don't want to do it right now, so I lose my thing. But you can lay this thing back if you want, and, and it's not bad. Um, I also just think that it looks good. Like, on the street, these gamer chairs look good, too. So that, that does play into it a little bit. Uh <coughs> But yeah, if you like, if you're gonna be sitting in it for eight, nine hours a day, actually working, it's not that bad because it does motivate you to kind of sit up a little bit. But you can get com more comfortable chairs if you're if you're spending a few hundred dollars on those big leather ones. Uh, let's see, Ben. If Loot goes to ten cents, it's possible going to be on a run and way higher than ten cents, and that would be insane. <laughs> Equals Matt Perry. <laughs> Yes. Yes. I am Matt Perry. It's just different lighting right now. Just different lighting. That's all. Uh, if it goes up to a dollar, I'm pulling out 500 grand and let my wife buy her house so she will shut up. <laughs> I'm letting the rest ride. Oh, God. Next level. And I can guarantee you she will be happy, man. She will be happy. Yes. <clears throat> no doubt in my mind that she will be happy. Sorry, but your theory does not hold water. No one is selling AMC and they're shorting it to death. And now they're shorting crypto with a new ruling that they can in the crypto market. Sorry, bro. 
PM righteous. So y in a sense, you are correct. Okay. Um, and that does make perfect sense though. The only thing I don't like is the fact that you think nobody really is selling AMC. I know for a fact people are selling AMC. Um, like, like, don't don't be confused and, and don't be naive into thinking that literally nobody is selling AMC. I am talking about a perfect world in which nobody is selling the coin. So shorting is is almost a necessity in, in that situation <clears throat> because it does exactly what you're saying it should do. If Terra Luna Classic, if nobody ever sold it, and nobody ever shorted it. You're right, dude. We would be sitting on Terra Luna Classic at $1,000 a coin and potentially a quadrillion dollar market cap. That doesn't make sense. It should not be worth a quadrillion dollars. So people shorting it, trying to drive that price back down to something reasonable, something that makes sense, is actually smart. Um... I don't know if it necessarily plays over that way with AMC perfectly like that. I do believe people are selling AMC, but that's when that's when shorting something makes sense. If it's if it's worth a penny and it's trading at at a thousand dollars, please please do please short that. I mean, that's the <coughs> that's when shorting does make sense. Uh, let's see here. Lots of people swinging in day trading AMC. Pika needs to make sure that uh, <laughs> needs to make sure she turns the air conditioning on or something there. Pika, uh, I don't know. You got to make sure you bring that temperature down just a little bit. Adam thinks you're not too bad yourself. Adam's got that big old A. Hey, I am up 127%. Hold or sell? Gosh, I love it, man. I love it, dude. This is what I was talking about, man. This breakout right here, coming back up, 286.84. It did break through this little level of resistance right here. You could be, look, hold or sell. Break this area. Oh, no, I don't want a trend line. I want a horizontal line. Break this area right here at, well, right where it's at, 286.80. You're going to lose a little bit more, and you risk the upside. The upside that you risk is right here and i don't know what the difference would be it'll probably bring you back down to like an 80 percent gain as opposed to the 127 that you're up right now so if it bounces off i would say calm down a little bit if it breaks up through you might be risking another 20 percent right here major risk and it looks like it might be breaking through major risk on the day right now is this i don't think you want to come all the way back up to 288 depending on when you bought those what 293 puts i think they were Depending on when you bought those 293 puts, you you might be losing all of your gains if you're sitting on 127% gain right now. <clears throat> so that's what I'm watching, dude. Here's your most conservative line. You take it right now, and you get out with a sick gain. If you break it, you might be looking at a 70-80% gain. Uh, hold on, and, and it could be doing even better for you. So that's the level I'm watching right now. I don't know if you guys want to leave it up for a second for Bronson to... To see what happens there or not, I'm sure he's watching it on his own screen, <clears throat> but that's what I'm looking at. How's the Burns looking for Lunk? Deez, <clears throat> I went over a couple numbers in the videos this morning. The Burns are actually looking like they're going to be doing very well. So, I don't know the exact ratio of on-chain to off-chain volume. Um, but, even if we're sitting, it, the numbers today... T volume over the last 24 hours, current price, and so on, you're sitting at around, uh, if everything was burnt, 40 billion Terra Luna Classic being burnt in a 24-hour period. Now, if on-chain transactions are only 10% of the total volume, then I would say you're looking at about 4 billion. People might think that's low, but that's the entirety of what we've burnt on Terra Luna Classic so far. So please do not get upset with a 4 billion billion coin burn that would be amazing if it all works out in favor of the link burn attacks if these cx is the centralized exchange implement the off-chain burns these shorters will be the only fund uh, will only fund the burn the more sells the more burn it's a win-win yeah raven we're gonna love the sellers and buy the the guys that are trading during the burns uh and it does look like it may be ticking even higher bronson i don't know if you're still watching it or not you're probably sitting on what like a 115 to to 110 percent gain Right now, um, 
let us know. Let us know what you're going to do there, man. But nonetheless, I, uh, you're still walking away with more than a double your money, man. That's going to be a sick move right there. And, oh, man, I don't know. Might be might be ticking. Well, I, man, Bron, this is the stuff that, that I just don't know about. Those are the lines that I'd be looking. And uh, hopefully you hit it, dude. Bro, I'm so ready to see the Lunk uh, see Lunk play out. I'm just hoping that people will show these centralized exchanges how much power we have. If they don't support us, we don't support them. We are the community, and we decide. Dark bro, it is 100% true. <clears throat> if if you're just going to hold, I really don't care if you just hold. Okay, but here's the problem: if you're just holding, you know you're not going to be contributing to the burns anyway. However, let's say that everybody just holding on Binance, you're not benefiting from the reduction, the 1.2%, you're saving 1.2% on those transactions. You're not benefiting at all because you're not trading. You're literally just holding. But what you're doing is you're providing Binance with those coins. And if Binance has 2 trillion coins right now, and they're sitting on half a billion dollars in Terra Luna Classic, you're providing and loaning Binance half a billion dollars. They benefit greatly from that. You would be in no different position just holding on Mexi Global or, or another exchange if KuCoin does decide to do the burns and so on. You know, you're providing at that, at that point in time half a billion dollars to another platform. <coughs> I'm pretty sure, okay, Mexi Global has been very, very good at, at doing these burns for, for Terra Luna Classic since the beginning. Um, but I'm pretty sure Mexi Global literally only has 10, there's Singapore centralized exchange. And I'm pretty sure that they only have 10,000 US users. That is an extremely small US exchange. If all of a sudden, people dumped half a billion dollars into a tiny little centralized exchange like that, oh my gosh, dude, Binance would probably throw up. They, they would probably be sick to see half a billion dollars withdrawn from their platform and sent to a tiny little competitor like that. And all of a sudden, uh, Mexi Global, 5Xs, 10Xs in value because of the Terra, Terra Luna Classic community absolutely crazy <clears throat> and that's the power that we do have i mean it's as simple as that guys it, it is the power that we have hold a gold and silver roulette wheel loves the gold and silver the precious metals heck yeah uh, roulette wheel you should hang out with my uncle i guarantee my uncle likes the gold and silver too you guys would be best friends give up buy more crypto just buy more stable and not some lottery game <clears throat> dude roulette wheel nothing wrong with that strategy at all man <clears throat> nothing wrong with that strategy at all dude uh, Pika, yes, you do have a lot of big brothers in here. Me included. Nice, King Mamba. Bro, can't hear you. What? Dude, it says my volume's working right here, so... Turn your volume up, maybe? I don't know. I think silver can 10x in the next 10 years. Uh, roulette wheel, what is silver at right now? I, I don't even know what it's trading at, dude. 20 bucks an ounce? Is it, is it somewhere around that range? I have no idea what silver's trading at right now. But if silver becomes some sort of a, a real hot commodity in, uh, gosh, like a lot of these batteries and stuff that they're making and, and computer components, I, I wouldn't doubt that it could. But I really don't know <coughs> where, where silver's trading at right now. I can hear him just fine, too. Nice, baby. D's can hear me as well. Roulette wheel, 5,000 times 10 is $50,000. Yes, it is. Lithium ion batteries use silver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's what it is. Um, But I don't know what it's trading at. Yo, Clay, can those people just come to Lunk Community? Okay, thanks. <laughs> they probably could, and they probably should, man. <coughs> I'm not discounting Doge and saying that Doge is done. I do think that Doge has a very strong community as well of people that are highly committed to it. I was not as committed to Doge as as I am a lot of other things. I did get into Doge, and I did get out of Doge. I forget if it was, it was either thirty two cents or thirty six cents that I got out of Doge on. <clears throat> but I would not 
like not buy it. You know, I, I wouldn't have a problem taking Doge for another ride when the bear market returns. Might need some vampires to bump silver. Bosco, that could absolutely help as well. You want to increase the demand? Get some vampires going on out there. So it's KuCoin, Mexi, and Coin in doing the exchange. Lunk burns now. <clears throat> so Genie, KuCoin is a little strange. Mexi, <clears throat> the last I've heard from them, their temporary burns will end tomorrow. Now, they can vote to extend that and so on. So they we might actually see them extend it, and, and that would be very beneficial for them, I think. Uh, KuCoin had their AMA, I believe, yesterday, and, and it didn't seem like they, it was very confusing, the AMA. It didn't seem like they were going to do burns, but it, something could have gotten lost in translation there, and, and we're going to have to see a little bit more from them. Um, Coinin, I actually do think that Coinin is doing the burns. <clears throat> I've seen a lot of positivity and a lot of people excited about Coinin, although they are a smaller exchange, right? So you're not going to see as much volume on their platform. But I do believe that they are burning, yes. Deez, man, thank you very much for the salt shake. You pour the salt out and you throw the salt over your shoulder. And because salt tastes so good, you just... Oh, <laughs> every time, dude. It gets in your eye and it stings, man, every single time. Oh, my gosh. I did. I come from those. Robert, very good, man, very good. Here's what we're looking at now on the QQQ. <coughs> we may have rebounced off this level again. We need to know, did, what's Bronson doing? Did Bronson get out in this area? Is he into this area? Did he ride it back down a little bit? Bronson, happy birthday, man. Happy birthday to you. What is happening? Crap, not been paying attention, eating, but I am up 20%. Uh, TMC2, it's a good birthday. TMC, what is TMC? Either way, Bronson, baby. Killing it, dude. Killing it. I got big ones. <laughs> He's got big ones. Good. Uh, Pika, I've been busy reading up on units of my rental pro or uh, readying up one of the units of my rental property. Got it, uh, got it filled and can start collecting passive income. <coughs> Rule that wheel. Very nice, man. <coughs> and hopefully you got some good tenants in there now. I had about thirty dollars worth of do or thirty pounds worth of Doge that I was given for free and rid myself of them and bought a Lunk when it crashed. Ben Weldon, very nice man. Hopefully that Lunk is working out for you now. I think we can extend it. Binance, we get on board, dude. Matthew, that is exactly what we want to see. That is exactly what we want to see. I and, and you know I don't care if if people leave Binance and go to Mexi Global or whatever, and, and Mexi Global's burn it. Perfect. If if 10% of the people start to leave and Binance is like, oh, crap, we made a mistake. Let's implement it. Perfect. All I want to see are, are these exchanges jump on board. Dude, I am telling you, if we see the exchanges jump on board and we see total or 90% of the volume burning Terra Luna Classic, it is going to be insane how quickly we burn that supply. Oh, my gosh, dude. It's going to be too good almost. We almost need to see the decentralized exchanges not burn to give us some sort of a challenge. <coughs> it's clearly a public listed entity. It sounds like something I'm interested in. So let's get started. Divvy Dog. Oh, yeah. Future AMC Chai Bro. It's out of the screen. What happened to AMC? Thank you very much. I, I didn't even notice that, man. I must have accidentally clicked on it or something. So thank you very much for, for showing that over there. Uh, Genie B, thanks for the info always. Thank you for being in here, Genie B. Appreciate you. What happened with the bro that shorted Lunk? <laughs> 3K and 10X. Oh, God. I actually have no idea, man. I have no idea. Is, uh... Oh, God. I don't know what price point he shorted that at. So maybe he maybe he scalped a quick gain. I, I don't know, Chris. I don't know. Hopefully, he's not kicking himself right now. Um, Bronson, you in, you out, man. You in or you out. I got to know what's going on. Because I still, I'm not, I'm not denying. I probably, if it comes up to this level and it bounces off here, there's a very good chance that, yes, I do jump in if i see a bounce off this level during the afternoon yeah it would be a very risky trade um and maybe 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 i get slightly more conservative and let it hit this level right in here 
Um, but yeah, dude, I, I think you're gonna have like if you jump in some like 283 or 285 puts in this area right here, you might be getting them for 10 cents. And then an afternoon sell off like that candle, you string 10 of those candles together. <whistles> yeah, it's gonna be sick. Terrellina Classic, ladies and gentlemen, look at these green candles on Terrellina Classic, shooting up to 30,500 puts per quarter. This is the action that we've been waiting for. Let's see a breakout in the last, oh no, it's already 1 o'clock. I don't think CZ is stupid. He knows that they will be praised if they implement it. That's why he's written it. I think they are just playing cat and mouse. Yeah, Dark Pro, I don't think he's stupid either. Um, people can get arrogant, yes. I don't think he's stupid, which is why I think that he would implement it if, especially if they start to lose money. <coughs> nice green pump, baby. Oh, yes, guys. It is. Thanks, Shigalai, for another great stream. DD214. Love it. I have so much fun, man. I have so much fun. Um, Can you just imagine? It, me and my brother and, and my friend, we were group chatting this morning. Um, he, he sent a he sent a picture. They were in, in some sort of a meeting. And, and he's like, ah, I can't watch Claybro this morning. They got me watching this girl. They were doing some sort of a Zoom meeting or whatever they had going on at work and and then we started joking around they're like oh dude you know what you guys should do implement some super chats or gifts get this girl excited about doing this this presentation at work could you imagine if if somebody was giving a presentation at work and they actually made it interesting they actually made it something that you wanted to sit there and listen to I mean, we could sit here, if, if I had an agenda of what to go over and it wasn't strictly like chat interaction and so on, if we were actually doing some sort of a learning uh, live stream or some sort of a, a meeting where something was being presented and, and we had to get through the agenda, you know, we could still make it awesome. <clears throat> Imagine the productivity, the increase in productivity. If you had somebody like that, you're like, oh, dude, I can't wait to get to this meeting today, man. I'm going to pay attention. Yeah, sure, it's only a half hour long. I'm going to pay attention. We're going to get ready to go out there and kill it for the rest of the day. Come on, man. Make it happen. Somebody out there, make it happen if you guys are doing meetings at work like that. Do it. Look at Luna. Yes, <laughs> Andrew Tate, man. Luna Classic throwing them green lines. Nonetheless, guys, we're going to get off here for now. We're going to do these shout outs. We will be back later. Thank you, everybody, for having an amazing Friday so far. AMC Trapper says, peace out to the Dominant Hand Apes and the Lunatics. Dark Bro, DD214, Vertex, Peak of Power, Digital Error. See you later. Emma D, Genie, uh, Genie B, Brahm. See you later. Sandra, hopefully you're having a great day today. Vertex, Genie, King, Sandra, Pika, Emma, Crypto Rocketeer. Boom, baby, dabbing on them as always. That's what I love to see, man. Matthew Fidel, hope you're having a good day today. Pika, Andrew Tate, man. Crypto Racketeer, Nagandra Babu. See you later. Next level, enjoy your afternoon. Uh, Brom, Vertex, Anita, Dees, Randy, DD214, Pika, Nehal, Caesar, Lyman, Digital Error, Rise Again, Elon, Wayne Grill, Pika, Francis, Kenneth, Vertex, Matthew, all of you guys know what time it is. If you want to say it with me, say it with me. Until the next time. Gosh, look at Terra Luna Classic ripping higher right now. Say it with me. Till the next time. Hope that each and every one of you have an awesome day.